Coin Toss presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are on the field, and we're just about ready to open things up. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. The Tigers have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy to football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. It's second and six. Ball on the 40-yard line. And they get nice yardage on that run. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. And they get the first down. Just a simple give to the fullback, and he gets enough for the first. From their own 47-yard line, it's first down. He's on the run. He's at the 40, and they make the stop at about the 35. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. The quarterback made a very good decision here not to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Great job here converting and keeping this defense on the field. They're getting very tired. First down. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards the first down. Nice run to the outside. Good running there. Classic, classic example of over-pursuing here by the defense. And this play is number eight on the drive. right around the four-yard line. Just inside the five. Second down. They're packed in tight on the line. They go with a toss, and he gets the touchdown. That's a great job and some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he adds the extra point. A nine-play, 63-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. And the big plays that they had running the football were the keys to that drive. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll bring him down at the 35. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. It's second and 12. Ball on the 35-yard line. Tackle.
tackle made at the 40-yard line. Out to the tailback on the screen. That is a loss of five. That makes it fourth and twelve. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. So it's time to see this offense go to work again. This defense couldn't stop them from moving the ball and inevitably finding the end zone. Tackled after a decent pickup. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. Pulls it in, and he could score. He's all the way. Touchdown. does a great job here with faking the run. Enough to get the corner to commit just for a moment, and he just wasn't able to recover. He splits the uprights with the extra point. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 32-yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Right down, right around the 46-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. So the halfback loses about two on the run. That'll bring up second and 12. throws this one away. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 44. Mike four, Mike four. And they've got the dime package in there to try and deal with this five-receiver look. And he's tackled right around the 42-yard line. at the 20 and he's finally shoved out at the nine we've played one quarter the Tigers in front 14 nothing and we welcome you back to the action here just about set to start the second quarter Throws this one away. Right, 
Ball inside the 10-yard line. Second down. Throws to the receiver. Got it for the touchdown. You've got to give each of these guys credit for getting in sync, really fighting to create that touchdown. He makes the PAT. They line up to kick this one away. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 31. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. And down he goes at the 27-yard line. Second down, 14 coming up here. Ball on the 27. And he is drilled at the 20. Now it's first and ten after the big pass play. Four down, four down. Mike, four. He's out of bounds at the 44-yard line. That makes it second and six. He's taken down at the 47-yard line. down now and they need to get it down to the 38. Almost intercepted there. Quick thinking there. You know they're liable to put the ball in the air on third so it's a smart play to keep your hands ready. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. He put... No! He faked it! He's taken down at the 43. So they turn it over on downs, and that's a big boost for this defense. In a close game like this one, it's big plays like this that can be the deciding factor. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Set. Blue 19. Blue 19. Hey. He's knocked out of bounds around the 46-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 46. Under pressure. Slides down to the ground. He got three yards there on the scramble. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike four, Mike four. Pass incomplete, trying to get it to his receiver. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it fourth and four. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The Tigers' offensive staff, I think, has done a good job of keeping their wide receiver in the game, even though he's not having great stats. 
He's part of it, and the rest of the team now is picking up his slack, I think. Well, this offense is still putting points on the board, and I think at times they're actually using the wide receiver, the go-to man who's drawing so much attention. Really as a decoy, open up other avenues of this offense. We've seen other receivers make some plays. They're running the football. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of adjustments this defense makes to try to slow down these other members of this offense. And who knows, maybe that could open it back up for that marquee receiver. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 32. He goes out of bounds at the 35-yard line. About three yards on the play fake. That'll make it second and seven. as he's hit complete and he's taken down around the 34 yard line that's good for a game of 31 yards first down now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass Gets out to about the 32-yard line. That's a game of two on the play. That'll make it 77. Throws complete. He's got space to work. He ran a good route there and was able to pick up yards underneath the coverage. It's okay to move the ball in small portions because it relaxes the offense and can open things up for the big play. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. They move the sticks after another first down. Impressive drive by this offense so far. I really like what they're doing by keeping this defense on their heels and moving the ball downfield. And he makes it out to about the 17-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Here's the eighth play of the series. The Tigers taking their first time out of the half. Here they come. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. They'll line it up again on third down. He's hit and taken down. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Kicks up, and they tack on three points. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he makes it out to about the 24-yard line. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. it out to about the 36. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. Got a man. Watch out here. He steps out at the 44. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. back and a 
it's in and out of his hands. I guess he'll throw this one as far as he can and hope for a miracle. Aaron and out long. That close to being intercepted. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 17-7, Tigers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it uh, every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half. And you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of. And, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Just about time to get you back out for the second half. Brad and Kirk will be along in just a second. You're looking forward to keeping an eye on everything around the country here. Got a good, a lot of good game score. We're locked and loaded. We got all the big screens going. You're gonna be looking to hand out some helmet stickers later. We're yeah. loaded, man. I'll try. You think you can keep on your shoes in the second half? I'll try to. They stinky? <laughs> yes. Brad and Kirk, you're at a safe distance. Take it away. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he's tackled at the 29. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Takes a hand on tackle for a loss. Second down and 14. Ball in the 25. Mike four, Mike four. They run straight, brought down quickly. That brings up third and 14. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. And the defense is on it. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Give to the back and hit hard for a loss. That makes it second. From the 28-yard line, it's second down. The offense is going to try to open this field up, coming out in a five-wide set. And the defense counters with their dime look. And they make the stop at the 26. Change of quarterback, Kirby. you got to wonder what that's going to do to the team morale. It is next man up. They've got to be ready to trust this guy. It's first down. Mike four, Mike four. Yeah, two, seven. Motion, motion. Tackle at about 
the 17 yard line. That brings us second and nine. Two times, two times. Carries the ball for a nice game. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Setting up play action. What a play, and that is first and goal. That's good for a game of 12 yards. That makes it first and goal. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. And they're in. Touchdown. That is great tough football right there. Getting down to the goal line and just punching it in. And he adds the extra point. like they're ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That's, That's a loss of three yards. That, that brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on their own 22. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down around the 37-yard line. He showed some excellent moves out there. More than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. From their own 37-yard line, first down. Taken down as he works to the left for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. And he's tackled right around the 44-yard line. Gain of three on the play. Third down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Here's the run right. He's got nowhere to go. That'll bring up fourth and five. The defense has everybody on the line. I think they're going to come after this one. And he's taken down at the 29-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. Tackled after decent pickup. That makes it second and So it's second down and about two yards to go. Fakes to the back. Fires to his tight end. Nothing doing. Great reaction to get his hands in the way of that pass. That's not an easy play to make. That'll bring up third and two. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Yeah. 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 
We head to the fourth. The Tigers lead it by 17. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Throws complete. He's got room to work. He's out of bounds. Right around the 34. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven. Ball on the 34-yard line. He's got it with room to run. Out of bounds at about the 37-yard line. That makes it third and three. Two times, two times. He's taken down at the 49. From the 49-yard line, first down. And he is drilled at the 48. That is a loss of three yards. That brings up second and 13. out of bounds around the 49 yard line that brings up the third down again in the shotgun and five wideouts he goes downtown and it's picked off Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. From their own 23-yard line, it's first down. Ball is loose. Fumble. Looks like a defensive lineman might have it, and he does. And that's a very heads-up play by the defensive end to jump on that fumble. Here's a great job of the defense there to take advantage of the mistake and cause that turnover. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. Giving the ball away can rattle your confidence, but he just needs to relax and not try to force it. He's starting off in great field position now. And down he goes at about the nine-yard line. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. Run and he's brought down. Game of six on the play. That brings him second and goal. That's right, baby. They don't want it. Mike four, Mike four. Got down. Got the corner and it pays off. Touchdown. There are some guys, when they get near the goal line, they just have a knack for getting the ball into the end zone. That's what we saw right there. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They'll bring him down at the 38. So can the defense match their effort from the last drive with another takeaway? You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. He's at the 30. When you're running the ball for big chunks of yards like that, you've got something working. That makes it first 
First and 10. Ball on the 22-yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. He fights forward to about the 20. That makes it second and eight. Pickup of three. The defense calls a timeout, and that was their first timeout. It's third down and five to go. Ball on the 17 yard line. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. The defense had a great opportunity there, and they let it go. This is an offense that's clearly working clock. They've got to get more aggressive defensively and attack the line of scrimmage to be able to slow down this offense from getting first down. And he's taken down at the 12-yard line. The defense calls a timeout. And now they've got no timeouts left. And he's got the touchdown. That's a huge touchdown on the ground, Herbie. That might do it. And he tacks on the extra point. So a six-play, 38-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. They can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Well, the offense heading back out onto the field after that kick, hoping to turn this drive into another touchdown. I love to watch a quarterback when he can really get into sync with his wide receiver. These guys have worked all week on their preparation to attack this defense, and right now, it's really paying off. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. The spike will stop the clock. That'll bring a third and six. From their own 29-yard line. I'm Third down. I'm coming. My four, my four. Good protection. Throws out to the back, and he can't hold on to it. Number 32, the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and six. My four. On the catch, and he steps out. They almost stopped him on fourth, but it'll be a first down. And he showed excellent awareness to know where he had to go to keep this drive alive. From their own 36-yard line, first down. Pressure coming. Over the middle to his tailback. That makes it second and eight. And he stops the clock with a spike. That'll bring up third and eight. Roger, Roger! Mike Four, you must be getting tired of seeing me. He's tackled at the 40 yard line. to that quickly. And they finally knock him out at the two. That makes it first and goal. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Five wide. Here they come. 
Just throws this one away. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two. We have less than a minute to go. Over the middle, got it, touchdown. And he hits the PAT. A 10-play, 75-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient at throwing the ball. It's on the score now, 31-21. Tackle made at the 39. Brad, this is my kind of game. I love seeing this kind of production and the way these quarterbacks are playing. Both teams are challenging both of these defenses. And as the defense comes back out, you can be sure they're thinking about that score they surrendered the last time around. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Tigers coaching staff, Kirk, do they start wondering, hey, uh, are we going to have trouble with our star player after the struggles he had today? Well, I think the coaching staff's got to be happy that this team was able to win the football game and overcome the fact that their star player didn't have a great game. But I think making adjustments and changing the game plan because their star didn't deliver, I think that would be a big mistake. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.